it, ha- it had to have been your mum. Oh, bless you, my boy. That yeah. was your mummy, though. That was my mummy. Yeah, there's no way anybody else would say that to you. Everybody That's true. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> yeah, like I'm interested. But mum's yeah. always interested in your health. Yeah. <laughs> Only mummies. Uh, I know. <laughs> bless her. I'm, I'm still doing Zoom meetings from mum, from my mum's, yeah. Are you really? I know. Because <laughs> uh, talk about not ever growing up, Frank. It's like, oh, sure, it's an awful curse to have to grow up, isn't it? <laughs> Thank God. Thank God you don't ever really. That's just no. that is the pretense, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, behind the eyes, <laughs> behind the eyes, and the yeah. grey hair and all that. <laughs> I know. It's just the a bo- little nipper. Just a little boy. Yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could say that's what that's what we're talking about. Yeah, you can stop that. pretending now. You can stop pretending that you've worked anything out and now you can function as a <laughs> fully you functioning. Function. No, you can just function. Yeah. I think that's fucking it though. I kind of can we all just stop pretending? Yeah. To know we, everything and know, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Would you know any yeah, to know anything. Yeah. Can we just even for a few minutes, can we all oh. just stop all this? Being serious and I mean I don't mind if we want to pick it back up again two seconds just pause for a moment yeah oh wouldn't it be well you know they are they are the the bits of life that you enjoy if you meet another human being and they're able to I mean they're not able to but it can be uh it can but be I think there's a can be a kind of a heaviness isn't there with this even say for example a non-duality meeting, if people think they're going to a non-duality meeting, it's... No. All right, look, we call it a non-duality minute, meeting in two minutes, but can we just, for a moment, <laughs> stop, just fucking stop. <laughs> well, uh, then we can all just pre- st- the pretend can re- we'll pick, you know, we'll play the game in two seconds because the game is going to be played anyway, because, you know, but just, we all agree even just for one moment that we all haven't a clue what's happening and well, how we're even talking. You know? The thing is when you've got somewhere to get to though, Frank, and then it's a, that's a serious game. That's a job to, that's pretty tricky to put down. Yeah. Is this that, is this that there's somewhere to get to? Is that the movement? I reckon, that what, yeah. That there is absolute certainty, but well, no, the, the, then it's the realness of feeling real. Well, the real, the thing that feels real is that, um, I haven't got it, and well, it looks like he has. Mm. And um, I, I want to. I want to know. I want to know. That's that, that's that, that's the energy of me, isn't it? The, but the, and it reinforce in a way it does reinforce it. Then the me is you're, you're not them me. I hate fucking saying that, but it's going to be as long as there's something real happening. Then even if you're screaming from the rooftops that this is cluelessness, this is unknowing. Even if you're absolutely ruined, it'll be okay. That sounds deadly. I want to know that it's unknowing. Yeah. I definitely want to know that. Yeah, because I want to. Um, there's the. It seems like there's uh, there's people out there who know. Yeah. And you, uh, and of course, they what they know is not knowing. Wow, that sounds fucking amazing. It's That's what like I really, really are scraping the barrel. What I really sticking. want to know, what I really want to know is not knowing. I want to, <laughs> I want to know nothing. Like if you really, even if you really do, are, I don't know how, it's not yeah. possible to consider it, but if you were really to consider uh, the seeking of nothing. Well, I remember that though, Frank. Uh, I, I totally do too. It's really clear that that's what I was after. I was after the emptiness, the, and because in that, then I would find peace. I would find, you know, I would find rest and um, maybe some happiness. Wow, wouldn't that be nice? Um, a bit of bliss, maybe. And that would be found in nothing. That would be found in the not knowing. Um, and that's what I was after. It's almost like a, a, a runner, you know, trying to get to the end and he's totally out of breath and water. And just running then, just running. So it's really then, really, if you're seeking nothing, actually, it's just seeking then. You know, it's just seeking in and of itself. Because it's a, even though intellectually you don't, but it can maybe become apparent then, I suppose, in that seeking nothing that, 
oh, hold on a second. But it's not really anyway. You know what I mean? But like, really, if you were to write down, I am seeking nothing, or I'm seeking this nothing thing they're talking about. I'm seeking this unknowing. Yeah. You're going to go, <laughs> you're going to go, no oh, way. <laughs> Wait now. Wait now. We so. talked about the running thing before, haven't we? Oh wow, how 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 wonderful! That's as, that's about as good as life could get. When there's running, there's only the running, with yeah. no one running. Because yeah. you've you you've done a, a fair bit of running, and I, I have, used yeah. I used That's to do, pain though. That's I used pain. to do a fair bit. Of course, they're they're fleeting moments, <laughs> but when there is, but when there are those. It's like and you then, get a free run. It's like a free then, having a free run. <laughs> and you get back and you haven't run anywhere. And wow. Mm. That's and it's a, it's an empty bliss. Because <laughs> of mm. course you didn't even know. There isn't even knowing of the running. You get away with the running. You, but you can somehow recognize, fuck, I got away with that. <laughs> there. Oh, yeah. I got I mean, away with it. it I got happen. away with 10k there. <laughs> it, it didn't it didn't hurt for a change it didn't hurt yeah but yeah yeah i mean but it's also the pain of running too so but of course that could be misleading because you could think that oh, okay anyone who talks about this they're, yeah. they're, they're in that they're in that free running place all the time that's yeah not, no that's, that's <laughs> no it's also the pain and the hatred of running it's too. all of that yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's awful. That's the tough bit. That's the tough bit that no one wants to hear. That yeah, yeah, there isn't anything excluded. You don't get to um, lose any potential experience. Of, you know, it's not a free ticket for anything. Like it's absolutely. I think about that often. About how this. Who the fuck would want to hear this? Really and truly, mm. who really, really, really would want to hear it? Well, yeah. But obviously, I mean, that's the, it, people do want to hear it. Obviously, yeah. then there's. A, there's a, a, there's a desperation a, for it too, then, in a way. There's a few, yeah. There's a few who have just come to the end of end of their tether, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, and really they don't. Yeah, no, no one, no self really wants this, of course. But yeah, they can if you really they, were doing the seeking. If the really, if you really were there and you were real, this is the last thing on earth you'd be interested in. Yeah. If you if you know what I mean, if you were really, if there was a boss and a controller and somebody who had volition, they really, they really would have reversed out the driveway a long, long time ago. No, this is just for, for those who have, I mean, it's pretty much just for the few. <laughs> oh. makes, it, makes it sound exclusive. Of course, it's not for the few, no. but, it can, but it only resonates. It only, um, you know, it only hits the mark, only hits the spot with... A few have had enough, that's all. Yeah. You've got to have had enough, otherwise you wouldn't, it wouldn't. Well, Still, I remember reading the sentence, there was no one all those years ago. And I remember going, fucking hell. Who the fuck would write, Sam? Who, how could a sentence like that be written? There's no one. No one gets enlightenment. Or whatever the fuck the sentence was, no, there is no one. Yeah. I, I, you know, is that resonance or what's that thing or how, or how what do you call? Because that's, it's a kind of a shocking sentence. Who would yeah. ever, you know, when you're, if you're, especially if you're definitely real and in the seeking game, just to hear that is kind of, it can be strong. I just remember going, what the fuck? What? And you, yeah, and here I can remember hearing for the first time that, of course, that self was illusory, uh, that there is no one. And go, oh yeah, obviously. Mm. That's how it was. It was like, and there was like an immediate. There was some. There was relief immediately, you know. And then, of course, I, I was stuck then. I, because that felt such a. I mean, for want of better words, it was so obviously true. <laughs> and I, and. I wanted it to be true. Now you could say I didn't want it to be true, but there was a there was a longing for that because there was such relief in just hearing it because no one had ever said that. Of course, I was me. Everyone had already that had been. <laughs> we're so indoctrinated with that, aren't we? It's so powerful in um, in a child's upbringing. That you're saying, <clears throat> yeah. 
But, but I think also maybe some of the the, the uh, existential issues are feeling like you should, this, I don't know if this is true, but fuck it. You know, feeling like you should be someone also. Mm-hmm. And whatever that is, you know, say as a teenager, maybe you feel like, oh, I need to have an identity. Or I need to be someone. So whether it's through music or, you know, the bands you like or the team you support or, yeah. you know, you're, you're, out, you're funny, you're the funny one, you're the, the reckless one, you're the studious yeah. one, but you're still, you know, you're at least, you're that one. And somehow then in that, yeah you are someone i don't know though you know i, I have no clue no i think that but that, you know what i mean well yeah that. teenagers teenage life is all about that isn't it about trying to find so what is my identity so yeah. there is this sense of being me so i need to feel some security in that and so you have to identify with other me's to some extent extent you have to join some group yeah. you have to your sense of self, because it's essentially so alone. Self mm. is self is so lonely. I mean, loneliness is a is a big part of the longing, the longing not to be alone. And because self is so small and insignificant alone, it has to identify itself with a group. I mean, we're getting really psychological there. You can you can read endless things about teenage, you know, identity crisis and. And trying different, trying different identities on to see if they fit. Yeah. But where I went, actually, whatever you said there, where I went for a moment is this idea of the the self talking, you know, the universe talking to itself, like, you know, this talking to itself because there is no other. You know, in the end, that's the end of the pretending when it's kind of like you kind of go, what the fuck? But you're not, it's not, you can't, you're not even going that, but there is that kind of sense of, And that I don't that can never be d- described or you you know what I'm trying oh. to say to you, that that empty what 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 the fuck <laughs> <laughs> do you, that when you say alone it's not really loneliness or aloneness but there is that empty well, well the that thing is, is yeah somehow full to the brim I'm, I'm trying I'm, to describe the difference and um because of course me as me. Um, I'm so I'm so small because I'm separate and I'm a tiny speck in the universe. Mm. There is, well, I'm just always full of fear. I can't not be full of fear, mm. and I have to identify with, well, first my family, or and then if my family is not, <laughs> that doesn't work. That doesn't that doesn't make me feel more secure and less alone then I have to build my identity just has to embrace other me's so that I don't feel the, 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 the dreadful loneliness. The, the, the paradox is, of course, this is utterly alone. This isn't a solution to the essential aloneness of being a human being. You, there's no knowing another. In fact, this is this. You could say this is total aloneness. Yeah. There is this alone, and so I know for some people they come to non-duality. It seems like a fix for that feeling of loneliness, but in a way, it's the, the cure is worse than the. There isn't a cure for it because essentially there aren't any others to know and the impossibility when it becomes really obvious and there's no doubt at all that there's no possibility of knowing another which is what that's my that would be my cure that would be my my solving this dreadful loneliness um you know that i could be completed i feel incomplete and i could be completed by you you know you're the one this whole idea idea that there's maybe there's more than one, you know, but there are other human beings out there who are my soulmate or any romantic idea about completion. This isn't about, this is the end of that. So that makes this even more of a dreadful message can seem like it for me in that there's no possibility of being completed by another. Mm. 
you know, especially romantically. Virtually every every love, you know, all love songs are about being completed by another. Mm. And um, the impossibility of that, that, that can that can create dread, terrible fear. I mean, I, feel, I think for a lot of a lot of seekers who come near this message, thinking that it's soft, that's one of the harshest. You could say the harshest realities. That there is this and this alone, and this is this is alone an aloneness that me couldn't even contemplate. Because of course, at least I have myself. At least I have myself. There's me. I can talk to myself and fantasize with myself all day long. Well, there's no possibility of that. And there's no there's no possibility of someone else making the pain of aloneness any more comfortable. This isn't about this isn't about comfort. That's that, so it's um. Mm. You could say it's not for the faint-hearted, but of course you don't get any choice in. If that's where it goes, seems to go, that's where it goes. But there are, but there, it's not. The aloneness isn't isn't lonely. The aloneness, because lonely is for me, and uh, this alone is absolutely neutral. It's not. Nobody's aloneness. No. It's aloneness, though. But it's completely alone, yeah. Yeah. So... But there is something liquidy, phen phenomenal, at the same time, that somehow even maybe in the forgetting and the remembering or whatever you want to say, that somehow it's even... Anything well, is possible at all. That anything, you know, that anything is... Yeah. Well, and then, you know, I... There's no getting away from this sense of unconditional love. And that is the aloneness and the love are the same. And that sounds nonsensical because of course I've always looked to the other for love. I've looked, I've looked outside for love because I'm inside. And then there is, there is just, you, you could say there's just this, it's a love that it's a love that isn't necessarily loving. It's a love that is just how it is. Mm. But um, it does feel like love. It's it's odd. It's hard to talk about. Yeah, where I went to that um, sense of the loving of even in the vast, we'd say, uh, desperation of separation, whatever you know. That sense. It's there's also that cradling yeah it is the vast separation but it's oh it's it's it is that though it, you know it's 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 i won't say just that because that diminishes it but it's all of that's the entirety of the universe in a way that the separation or that ache that's all of everything it's it is all of everything being that and it's um the cradling is somehow that it's a, uh, that it all is allowed, but yeah, then I don't know. That's yeah, we, we we haven't got words for it, you know. So you use words like everything is already allowed. You could say that is that there's nothing, no exclusion, but there's no inclusion or exclusion. All the language there is no there is. It doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't work. Well, language really doesn't work for trying to express this, and there's um, but then there's a. Uh, there is a love of expressing it as well, or attempting to. Yeah, it is, and it seems to be in the total acknowledgement that nothing can be said, and that well, let's start, let's stop pretending, and then can we just go fuck? Look, talking, woo! -hoo! Well, you probably do because <laughs> you're just walking along. Because really, that's <laughs> the best you've got to express it is, you know, be, being out walking and going, oh fucking hell, look at that. Yeah. Look, look, looking, look, looking, yeah. look. Wow. Talking. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> and that makes it sound like, oh, see, you know, I remember hearing 
oh, you see all things in new, and that's, you know, you kind of go, oh God, is everything shiny then? You must be able to, <laughs> see, you know, is everything shiny and- No, everything, no. Dark? And the new the newness can be rotting and stinking, of course. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So it is new, but then it might just appear brand new, fresh, rotting, stinking, foul, repugnant. Total fucked upness. As total and utter fucked upness. As well as pure and pristine and shiny, yeah. Yeah, like a new package arriving in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or like a brand new book? How did we even, for, I mean, <laughs> yeah, like a brand new book arriving, the smell of a new book coming. It's in. funny because I haven't, I only saw the book yesterday. Woo! <laughs> Honestly, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> I, I thought, do the, do the thing you do. The, I thought when I got the message from you, I thought when I got the message from you, I thought, oh yeah, it's my first chat show. <laughs> so it's like um, next week. Next week, Graham Norton. Definitely, man. That is absolutely. And uh, yeah. So, Tim, what's the book about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, I'm going to do a, a, a chat show tour of the UK. Yeah, that's going to be maybe um, America, maybe America. Yeah. On I need, Oprah. I need to break Oprah. America. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> And today's guest is Tim Cliss. Tim. Well, if I get on Oprah, obviously, I, ha I get a whole series, just like Eckhart. Oh, yeah. I'd have, have to really work on your um, peaceful voice, though. I mean, it is quite peaceful, but I mean, you could, <laughs> you could just a couple of intonations. Yeah. So would you like to read a chapter? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I'm supposed to, to write a foreword like for that. Would That's you like something. me to read a chapter? Um, I'm going to head off. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, do you know what? For the last five minutes, I leave the thing recording. <laughs> ah, you bastard. Yeah, and you can do that. That'd be lovely. Ah, That'd be that amazing. would be oh, gorgeous. That was lovely, Tim. Yeah. Tim, oh, uh, Tim. I will say, I, I, I was plugging this at my meeting. I was plugging my book, like you would, yeah. at, the meet, at my meeting last night. And I held it up and went, um, somebody said, hmm, interesting. So the title of the book is Tim Cliss by this deafening silence. <laughs> That's it's, pretty good, actually. How egotistical is it to have your name bigger than the title of the book? <laughs> well, I'd say you just said yes, to be honest, to the person. And to have a picture of what? And to have a picture of myself on the cover. Yeah, I mean, deep in, deep in awe. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, it was it was completely staged. I'm not deep in all at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, I've had some I've had some nice comments about it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm going to get some shit comments about it. The thing is, it's hopefully, tricky. Hopefully, yeah. Then you yeah, know. Oh, oh, I don't. I don't tell. Yeah. Um, it's funny. You'd think you wouldn't. There wouldn't be any concern about getting a negative response but there's something about um a material object that and putting it out to the world there is yeah. still there's still all the old anxieties they've all come up yeah they have they were like oh fucking hell how how pretentious there's i've even put my name large on the front i'm asking to be you know i'm asking for it yeah. And um, this isn't this message. <laughs> this mes message doesn't save you from being, um, you know, if someone cuts you, you still bleed. Mm. It's not you bleeding, but it's like you, you're impervious to um, emotional pain or people saying bitchy or negative things about you that they don't hurt. Well, yeah. of course, of course, that, none of that changes. I mean, I think that's really has a different flavor, but of course, self thinks, oh, you know, you'd be impervious to anything. Well, it's the opposite. It's like you haven't got any defenses against. So if people are nasty, if it, it hurts more, if anything. Well, I think I, I think that's what's kind of it's not. I think it somehow is missed in this in the person's notion of no one. 
yeah. that they've got a free ticket for life. Absolutely. Actually, actually, what is now includes all possibilities and it can be real upsetness, real fucking hurt, whatever the fuck. It may not last. You could you could say, oh, well, it may not last. Like it doesn't sting for years. And it doesn't you, know, it you don't does, carry no. somehow, but, but then that well, makes it, it sound better when it's totally fucking full on and felt then. Uh, exactly that, because you could say that, no, that it doesn't stick anymore, you know, because it always stuck to me, didn't it? Mm. Me and, and and the stickiness was me retelling the story about it and what it meant yeah. and trying to make sense of it so that I could protect myself from it in the future. From feeling hurt. Yeah, yeah. from being yeah. hurt. Uh, and the being, the being hurt is the most natural human yeah. response. It's, it's fully to, alive. This is about being fully know. alive. You, you don't, understand. well, you could say the human being is more sensitive, not less, without me. Mm. Sensitive to, mm. I don't know. It's not, it's not even, it's basically, there's either a reaction to, or not. There, it, it may be, oh, it could be, well, could be total laughter about a comment. That's yeah. possible. But it could be, oh, oh, fuck. Fucking In thinking <laughs> about in thinking about how it would be in the absence of self, you could say you you thought that you would get freedom. I would be protected from that. I would be immune. There would be immunity, you could say. Yeah. I'll be vaccinated against the, my reaction to it. But reactions are completely natural. You just So you have no say over it. And so the reactions are likely to be more intense. Yeah. They really are. Quicker. And, um, you know, and I mean that. So I, I can be, you know, the can, anger can just, anger, you know, anger just from, comes from nowhere. Boom. Yeah. Boom, yeah, it's, it's fucking tough. And it can be a little bit, what the fuck? As opposed to this repressed, yeah. it, quick snap, boom, yeah. and then it's gone. There's nothing held and, and, uh, about it. But mm. the intensity of it can be uh, shocking for those around you who, um, just, um, well, I used to being around human beings who have a sense of self that keeps it in check, you know, so, you know, that quiet anger, that passive aggression. Mm. I mean, that's the most common aggression, isn't it? Passive aggression. Mm. Whereas with, without me, because it's me who's pacifying the, the natural anger, and without that, then it's just bang, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I doesn't want to feel uh, the, <laughs> what comes with anger. Just it's always kind of just to stay safe, isn't it? To you know, not be exposed, not be seen. Oh, it's full on anger, or full on sorrow, or full on happiness, full on, yeah. full on, full on. And whatever yeah, it is. and sadness just come it would just appears and it's like a way it just literally washes and there's just tears mm. and then as as quickly as the wave broke on the shore it just returns and it's gone yeah. and you go where the hell i mean uh, um, you <laughs> it makes you not that easy to be around sometimes because you're pretty unpredictable <laughs> I, I actually wonder about that now of late, but that's a separate discussion. Um. <laughs> it, it's true, and, and I know that that and that that spontaneity, which is natural, you know, life is spontaneously happening. But me is the repressor, the suppressor of the natural spontaneity of natural humanness, you could say, of human being, of being human. And without that, then life is. Uh, you can appear, you can appear dangerous. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, well, uh, yeah, I'm making myself out to be some sort of Clint Eastwood character, you know, really <laughs> dangerous. It's, it's oh, just I, mean, anything I, is couldn't possible. Get, I couldn't get less dangerous really, but. No, but it is, it's the sense that anything is possible and somehow the sense that uh, anything is possible. It doesn't seem like that would be the way you'd carry on, but anything is possible. And there is the somehow that lived sense of anything's fucking possible. That's good, bad, indifferent, loving, kind, 
Yeah. And a fucking rage on, I don't know. Sorry, Frank, that's my mum's got to answer her phone because she has to answer the phone. Got the truth, of course. Um, Oh, here we are. Here we are. Oh, there you go. You can jump back in, sweet. Was that me or you? I well, I don't know. You were gone. So let's just say it's your internet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so what was I going to say to you? So your book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the book. Your book is available on the internet and Amazon. Oh, my, you're gone again. Uh, you're not gone. I can see you. Oh, no, you're back again. Uh, there's the signal. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. My internet connection is unstable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're familiar with that now. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> How did you get on to nothing? Well, that's the other thing. Of course, instability. That's quite a good word. Because this, yeah, this 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 is the end of the possibility of stability, which Mm. is safeness, you know, security. Because that's 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 all that's all the illusion of self is. The illusion that I know what's happening, I know what's going on, and I can manage it. Mm. So I can keep myself safe. That goes, of course, there's likely to be some terror, which there was there was here. It's likely to be really disconcerting. I don't think it has to be, but it's likely to be though. Because I don't think that could ever be imagined. That this isn't this is stable beyond the imagination of, and yet, of course, it no, you get really paradoxical because, of course, nothing is absolutely stable, but the thingness. That's the happening has no stability whatsoever. So it's completely stable and absolutely mm. unstable in that anything at all. Impossible to describe the relief of not being the boss of all of this. That's what we that's that's the why that's the compassion. That's why it's worth talking about, yeah. Mm. Oh. It's, oh, it's such a fucking oh, you haven't got to manage it. I mean, I'm waking up and the only thing that I've got to manage is I've got to get to my mum's for 10 o'clock so that I can set up my laptop and have a meeting with Frank. I haven't got anything else to manage. And guess what? I couldn't even manage that this morning. I was just going to say. No, I didn't manage it. I I didn't manage it. I looked at my watch and went... Shit. You probably had some book signing somewhere. That's, that's all I've got to do today. Oh, no, you probably I had some man- book signing. It's okay, you know. <laughs> I, I didn't even manage it. Got lost. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. Mm. Um, but, the, yeah, it is, it's impossible to um, describe the relief. But, you see, the relief is only in comparison to the story of how it was. Yeah. And um, even the, the sense no of relief. The sense, the sense of relief is um, relief just happens. Relief just the a sense story. Of relief just seems to appear. Course, hmm? Yeah. But the, the 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 desperate need to keep myself safe, uh, the freedom from that is mm. is worth talking about. Well, I'm saying it's worth talking about. I think the phenomenon well, for me, might say it's, it's not worth talking about, but I think it is. I, I, I think the most peculiar, most interesting, the elephant in, in the room is um, talking about talking. I mean, sorry, how the fuck, not talking, look, woo, woo, our sounds. That to me is the phenomenon now. I, I I think that's a phenomenon. And within that, after that, everything and anything can be said. But before the before is the stunning, what the fuck, Jack? And saying what the fuck is the stunning thing. If you know what I mean, as opposed to what the fuck about something, the what the fuck yeah. is being said. And then it's a, yeah. Well, of course, yeah, so, 
Yeah, because you'd not let me talk about my book enough. I could have written a book called What the Fuck, mm -hmm. and then inside each page just had What the Fuck on it, which would be a good non-duality book. <laughs> much more, much more concise and to the point, and uh, accurate, you could say, in describing what is being attempted to be described. Because it is that simple wonder of not knowing. Mm -hmm. What the fuck's going on? What the, what the hell is that? Who would have thought? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, but then, I don't know, it wouldn't sell. Wouldn't sell, yeah. I see the problem with all of this in a way. Sometimes if you're a seeker, you kind of go, all right, well, they seem they appear like they are agreeing on some thing. But actually all that's happening is fucking sounds. And they appear like they are, but we've yeah. no idea. I've no idea. I've no idea what's going on. I've no idea what's going on there. No, no, you know, that, it doesn't it, matter either. It just seems like we're both going. We're talking about the talk. Well, thing. the hardest thing to convey when you're talking about this is that um, is that you haven't got a clue. Mm. That's the that's the and that's what's being talked about. All the talking is trying to point out. You haven't got a clue. Now, as a me, you thought you had a clue and that others had some better clues than you, so you'd listen to them. And, the somehow, and, and somehow, sorry, in the saying of I haven't a clue is meaningless somehow. Somehow that is the, you know, the oh, disillusion yeah. of that. It's not that like I haven't a clue about a thing. It's the sound of I haven't a clue. And somehow that also is meaningless you know oh, yeah. is, is, and even that saying it's meaningless is meaningless and blah, 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 but i mean i suppose yeah you can't appear like a total mental patient so you have to kind of go oh <laughs> yeah okay that's liberation <laughs> yeah. liberation 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 that liberation is a real meaning and word liberation fucking everything and anything not not for the faint-hearted like you said actually because it's awful no <laughs> <laughs> and the sounds, you know, when you start laughing, it's oh, he's laughing because oh, it's got something. No, I'm just laughing now, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Well, um, it is laughable. Mm. Back to that book. <laughs> I, do, yeah, I haven't got a book now. My mum's taken it. Oh. <laughs> What's yeah, what so this is bless. <laughs> bless her. Yeah, so I'm. Uh, As your mom yeah. liked the book. Did One of the it? the best thing about the book is now when people say, um, "So what are you doing now? What do you do now?" Rather than say nothing, which I used to say, I'm now an author. <laughs> And that's my stock answer from now on. Yeah. When anyone asks me, I'm just going to go, I'm an author. Yeah, own that now. Own it. I'm having it. Yeah, fucking hell. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I, yeah, so that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> and who I am. I'm, an, I'm a writer. And yeah, I'm a writer. And no, I'm a writer and non-duality speaker. That's beautiful. That really is perfect. Well, it's a lovely you thing. Arrived. <laughs> you really have. You're there now. It's done. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, I can sleep easy now. Yeah. <laughs> if only that were true. Oh, oh. I'm a writer. I'm a writer now. I like that. <laughs> I'm a writer. Yeah, so what do you do? Yeah, I'm a writer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, the, the quiet pulls. Yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm a <laughs> writer, 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 author, speaker, speaker. Oh, uh, yeah. What's what are you writing about? So just, to, what, what's, what's the book about? No, that's when it's it falls. It's complicated. No, that's when it falls, yeah, I stop. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got to rush away. That, that <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. What's the book? Oh, look, um, this night. Oh, I just remembered I've got I'm a sharp stop now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, what would you like to talk about about the book? You know, Tim. <laughs> oh fuck! Wow, lovely to create something though. You know, well, you know, 
lovely. The smell of a book is lovely, I think. Oh, yeah, sniffing books, yeah. Sniffing books. I've always been, um, I've been, a, I had a paper fetish generally. Um, but that seems, feeling when you go. Seems to be, oh, of a brand new book. Yeah. You have to put your nose in it. Then. You really do snort yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> snort it right up. <laughs> that's what you got. That's what actually in the foreword. I, I get, you know, uh, by the foreword, that's what I got to say. What you got to do when you get this book in your hands is snort it, touch it, feel it. Hold yeah. Because you'll get fuck all else. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it <laughs> and that's the, that's the foreword for your book uh, yeah that's nice to do that there you go i think that's a brilliant foreword give it a good <laughs> smell hold it in your hands look at that lovely picture you know uh, mm. yeah i've always loved stationery generally mm. it tends to be a, a i think it's a more of a feminine thing I think that's where a lot of my feminine side came out in liking my pencil case with perfectly sharpened crayons in. Mm. Uh, I always loved that. And I always love little notepads or, you know, notebooks. The post to things, the multicolored pink ones and the... Keep sniffing those. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of glue. Sniffing glue. Oh, I was terrible. Because I used to make Airfix models. Did you really? Mm. Air fix model. What do you mean, planes? Yeah, planes and boats. Oh wow! And um, and then we'd we'd take them down to the pond, and we'd launch them. I remember doing this with the Bismarck. Um, we built the Bismarck. Well, my brother, I think we did it jointly. I did most of it, I think. And then we decided it'd be good to reenact uh, a, a sea battle. So um, got my air gun. And we set it out across the pond, and then we um, we sunk it with an with an air rifle. That was really anarchic, wasn't it? That's a great idea. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> wreck shit. <laughs> oh yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's a lot of fun in wrecking stuff, isn't yeah. it? It's like making the sandcastle, and then mm. right in the sandcastle. Kids love, yeah. It's a real natural. It's gone forever. Boom. Well, there is there's joy in destruction. There is. Mm. Yeah. Bad motherfucker. Love, sm <laughs> love smashing stuff up. Always have to. <laughs> No wonder, no wonder I was drawn to this message, isn't it? God, yeah. Because this is smash, this smashes it all up. Well, everything is created and destroyed, isn't it? It's the... And I always liked the, um, yeah, Shiva was, Shiva of Hindu gods. Shiva's my favourite, my favourite. Shiva, this is the destroyer. Mm. Yeah, maybe there is something in that whole... I don't know, yeah, that kind of lull of anarchy and uh, chaos and just that, not not for the for uh, the sake of it, but just total well, freedom, anarchy. It, you know? It's the love, it's the love of freedom, yeah. Mm. Yeah, freedom from freedom. Freedom mm. from everything. Mm. Freedom, from, freedom from freedom, freedom from anarchy. So, of course, anarchists, I was just as constrained in their identification with being an anarchist as a conservative is. So there's no mm. difference. It's the same shit, mm. in a, dressed up differently. Seems so apparent that now, yeah. Yeah, um, it's really obvious. Yeah. So I see all the demonstrators who think they're being anti-establishment now, and I just go, right, yeah, look at you, like sheep in your anti-establishment. Anti <laughs> oh, no, yeah. It there's really a lot of, that, though, there's yeah. a lot of that about at the moment isn't there there always has been so yeah but yeah just another now i'm an anarchist now i get to be an anarchist yeah it's like what you were describing there um this tiny speck in the universe mm. i think though that that can be a personality also this thing of by making making yourself so small and feeling so whatever you're still fully fucking alive in that tininess. Oh no! You know, that, you're fully, you're fully there. Then in your, well, you could say a, 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 um, uh, a sense of my own insignificance as me is even more bloated 
yeah. than a than a me that who's perfectly okay with me and yeah. you know, that's, uh, that's timid yeah because that's 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 even more intensely contracted you could say yeah, yeah it's more solid yeah the the worse i feel about myself the more solidified this. the, the sense yeah it's like yeah that wrung out feeling yeah it's really the tighter and more because because self is only interested in its perpetuation of feeling itself you know because mm -hmm. i exist that's that's what i i wanted to protect and of course depression and feeling really shit about myself is one of the most certain ways to ensure my existence yeah it's funny I mean, that isn't it like it's almost really, like this expansion that's really shit or, i know but this, what's that that's really shit i know and i don't but of course you know you don't <laughs> self the idea of self doesn't get any say in how it treats itself mm. can't be any other way uh, that's yeah but the, you know this idea of then that ex that or it's 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 a, you, that maybe can burst and that can squeeze so Eckhart Tolle yeah you know, this sort of it can go so tight that maybe then it can oh. well we could tell we could tell endless stories about that Frank and um, yeah. the just but that's that's all we can ever do anyway but yeah. in the story but that's yeah. it though isn't it Where's so the story you say, <laughs> i mean that so nothing nothing happened so none of that happened you know i never shot up the bismarck in my pond i didn't do that mm. um but the stories are just stories and there's something it's hard to say it's hard to fathom then though that even saying not that I never did that or nothing happened, even that's a story too. So just of course you, it is. Of yeah, course. but what you know that it's, it's it can Absolutely. be heard then it can be heard in a way as oh that's I mean it did happen. It's a memory uh, by or, you know or whatever. I know it could just be heard in a certain way uh, that saying nothing happened is, yeah. is but the words nothing happened is a story too now. So we, we all need to just be, there's well, nothing certain or known or clear or... No, not at all. Yeah. When I say nothing happened, I don't know, I don't know any more that nothing happened than when I really thought I knew that it had happened. Mm. There is no, one has no more certainty than the other. Yeah. No. Just... Um, and in, in that empty... But maybe, but maybe, what? but maybe it is a bit of the nothing happened is just really, you could say all it is, is an attempt to balance out the certainty that virtually all of humanity has, that of course it fucking happened because I know it happened. Mm. And it, it, the unfathomable in a way is the the unfathomable by even say the brain would go watch me nothing happened that's fucking mental but he, he, this, in the sentence it's saying the saying of the sentence nothing happened is a story and and then the saying of the sentence that nothing happened is a story is a story unfolding and this is this fully alive appearing to happen mm -hmm. something -ness. yeah you can't, yeah, we, we only have, if we're going to speak about this, then it's always a story. Yeah. If they're speaking or writing, you know, my new profession, <laughs> um, then that's a story. <laughs> that, that is, it's best, to, it's best to acknowledge that really I could just say, so my new profession is storytelling, yeah. yeah. It's just a story that most people don't want to hear, that un, unlike other stories which can be quite popular. Yeah, well, through the hero. I, I, can, I, can, you, can you as well, when we're talking, can you say, well, as a writer, I feel, <laughs> as a writer and speaker, uh, yeah. I mean, I'd like to say, this is, oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm so, so I'm trying, you know, to keep my feet on the ground and not, 
you know, not get carried away with the fame and the glory. Mm. And me, the yeah. um I think Mammy will yeah, help you. The, Mammy will the, help you with that. Mammy will keep you in check with that. <laughs> she'll be, yeah, it's quite she she won't let that go to my head. No, she won't let it go to your head. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so our amazon posting them out because i went online and i was looking it was going to take a week or so to arrive or a little bit of time to arrive is it are you going through these guys who nick half the money if you know what i mean they they print it and so that it's print on demand sort of thing literally you order it yeah and the computer goes i'll print another one yeah okay yeah yeah, that's yeah. it. And that's the one that nicks all the money in there, almost, is it? If you don't, yeah. Oh, there's no money in it. Yeah. I've done it just so that I can say that I'm an author. <laughs> there's no other reason. That's not going to get old. You know that. <laughs> I know, it's I'm going to laugh at that every time. <laughs> You're liking that, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, so, <laughs> no. well, the thing is, you keep laughing and I'm going to keep saying it. I can't, <laughs> that's how it works. I can't do it otherwise. Times, yeah. <laughs> That's you have to tear the ass out of a joke until they go look. Funny. I'll do it until one time you go All right. That's just one too many. Yeah, that's, so, but you're not putting it on the Kindle, or is there a plan to put it on the? So Kindle? So I thought I'd try and sell a few <laughs> hard copies before yeah. I put it on Kindle, hmm. just to see if, if you know you can sell a few hard copies. Yeah, okay. Because you don't make much money on it, like you say, but you make a bit more money on a hard copy than you do a Kindle. It depends what you price the Kindle at, I suppose, but... I yeah. suppose, yeah. Yeah. So, um... Okay, yeah. I bought... Um, I'm expecting 20 to arrive today. Okay. So I've bought 20, just mm. so that I can sh give one to all my friends and say, from your friend, Tim, the author. Yeah. And, um... And, <laughs> you sign it, though. I mean... But, big... but I just... No, I just... Uh, I'm going to... I'm just going to send them to friends who've been supportive. Mm. So you can have one. Okay. Well, I was actually going to go on and buy one. You buy one, yeah. You buy one. I buy one. I'm some fucking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you buy one. You. Can. <laughs> but um, yeah, because this. I mean, this is a funny old game, you know. In there's uh, although it's completely alone. There's the there's the paradox of there's seemingly all these other human beings who have supported you and helped you and that doesn't change in any way mm. and it's straight i'm more appreciate i'm more appreciative of that than when i was me because i was only concerned about me mm. there's a just an easy obvious gratefulness gratitude is a funny thing because of course when there's no one to be grateful to gratitude is freely available it's it's weird and it's the same with forgiveness when there's no one to forgive it just seems like forgiveness is something that no happens. one no one to forgive is forgiveness is just there. Yeah, it's funny that because that's there's that whole movement of oh be grateful. Yeah. Now you actually what you could be grateful for if you if you wanted to be grateful is for the moment when gratitude appears to happen about the tiniest thing. Like a, there's a little tiny bit of coffee, and somehow gratitude, even if it's cold, whatever. But if you wanted to be be grateful, you could be grateful about the gr gratitude appearing to happen. You know what I'm saying to you? As opposed to, you can't be grateful, because I know there's no. people going around going, if I be grateful, then I yeah. can get more money. Well, so it's we'll the really same without... being grateful. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Good luck with that. It doesn't ever feel quite gr like you're grateful, though, does that, it? That won't ever really feel like gratitude, will it? No. It'll feel, yeah, you can't force anything, though. No. But there it is. And yeah, so that, I mean, it's really paradoxical because I said about gratitude the other day. I went, well, you, who are you grateful to? And I went, well, you don't need an answer to that. Gratitude just appears. There you go. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel really. And um, gratitude is, you could just call that love as well. Mm. Mm. The good stuff. <laughs> You don't have to be grateful to anyone, do you? No, for gratitude. It's, it's, it's gratitude, gratitude as opposed to grateful to. Or... Yeah, yeah. 
whatever. It's just which is always oh. which is absolutely no different than anyone else would talk about it. But then, of course, what me tries to do is, oh, I should be more grateful, and then tries to cultivate gratitude. Well, yeah. like you say, good luck with that. That won't feel like gratitude. <laughs> no, it won't. And you're not. It'll and, feel, and it'll you're feel not like gratitude. duty. It'll feel like duty. That is. Not only does it not feel like gratitude, then what seems to happen is, God, I'm terrible that I can't be grateful. I need to be grateful. So then there's the beating the self up, yeah. not being grateful. Yeah. I know. <laughs> what can you do? That's just the fucking... Do whatever you like. Do whatever the fuck you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. What did you think at the Nothing Conference? Or did you? I, I didn't get to check in with it. Did you enjoy doing it on the day? Yeah, I, not really. I, yeah, I did not enjoy it, but I, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it because I had a lot of technical issues during the meeting and for once they weren't my fault uh, or not my fault they weren't this laptops they weren't this internet right um but um so lost connection um and um interestingly i had a bit of anxiety about it i think it was being on the same platforms as my i could say former heroes mm. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I I was on the same. It's like I, I was going to perform on stage with Tony and Jim and Andreas and Lisa and mm. yeah, and um, there was because I don't I don't get nerves about doing this or doing Zoom meetings or anything, but there was it was really I found it interesting that there was quite a bit of anxiety about it, and mm. then it didn't work technically very well so um i was pleased it when it had, we got through it if i'm honest there you go but i had i had some um i've had a, a few people enjoyed it anyway yeah i've had some positive feedback about it Not that i that love happened. i love the hearing oh, the anxiety thing i love <laughs> i love hearing that i just think that's lovely that that's you know the, the, that it is that you see it's the total rawness of fully alive all things yeah. are possible anything can happen no and because i don't have a lot of anxiety most of the time none i would say it's when it came up it was like oh shit yeah oh shit that can <laughs> that can still turn up then <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah because you don't because you don't there isn't you can sort of temper, you can forget about anxiety, but you don't forget it when it appears. Oh shit, I remember you, you bastard. Yeah, right in the belly there. Because that's a bitch, yeah, oh, butterflies, yeah. butterflies. You can feel it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. Mm. So I had a bit of that. You never it, describe that that is the freedom, mm. that's the freedom, that that, it's absolutely horrendously stupid to say that's the freedom, but that's the freedom. Yeah, of course but it that's is. That's possible. Yeah, there is no exception, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the love, yeah. Yeah. I try I try and express that, but it's very it's easy to get that across. That the fact that shit appears along with the beauty is love. That's that's the love. And it certainly doesn't make it any better. <laughs> no, no. This isn't about better. No. Yeah. Because mm. how could it? It can't get better because it's just as it is. <laughs> so uh, there isn't another. There isn't another reality. Well, if there is, good luck with finding that. Because <laughs> uh, this, you know, of course, there's so many stories about other realities, aren't there? Well, of oh, course. No, yeah. Oh, I mean, they're the great. Like they're the greatest escape stories of all time, aren't they? Oh yeah, I mean, especially in that in the psychedelic world, there's this yeah. whole this whole thing about other dimensions. But mm. You know, 
it's still like so when you get to the other dimension then the question is well what's 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 this that doesn't go away if it, that question is there just, it doesn't go away yeah exactly you're falling you fall into the next one then what's this and it's still and then the fall oh, it's always falling you know there isn't a this there isn't a place safe and then somehow you're you know talking just talking yeah mm. uh, and there is there is something really beautiful about just talking and the words don't mean anything and so the talking is just talking mm. it's lovely isn't it yeah you know talking is what a wonder what a wonder that we can just tell these stories to each other it's just and be and yet when have no idea what that is and and how it happens or why it happens for no reason or for what the stories you tell it's just so beautiful you need to connect your oh there you go you're back there we go, there we go. i don't know if that's mine or yours now um We were saying something amazing, probably. Um, speaking of, look at uh, somebody, a friend who gave me a t-shirt yesterday. Let's have a look. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's done a portrait of you with chaos <laughs> underneath. Captain Chaos. Woo Captain Chaos. <laughs> Captain Chaos. What was that? <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, that's nice. Well, it's not, it's really ugly, but... <laughs> but it's quite jarring, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, I think it's a bit disturbing. Yeah. yeah, you've seen that movie, have you? No. Oh, you probably have. You've seen The Dark Knight, I'd say. Oh, I have seen The Dark Knight. You know the mask he wears at the start? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd forgotten, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go, yeah. I think we just that was that was great. <laughs> yeah, let's wrap it up. Um, all right, dude, good to talk to you. And you, lovely. Thanks, Frank. Thanks for asking me. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. One last we... plug. One last plug. Yeah, that's brilliant. Get 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 your finger out of the way there to see this deafening silence is a great title. Do you like it? I really like it. Yeah. It's I had brilliant. about I had about six different titles. I only decided the title a week before it went to... Um, no, I really, really like it. I think it's just fucking brilliant. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, I like it that you like it. Yeah, I hadn't heard something like that before. And I, no. I it's a fucking great title, that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you a see... Roar. That's a roar, that is, in a way. Ah, good. Yeah, of course you love a roar. Yeah, exactly. I do love yeah. a good roar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. Yeah. All right, Frank, always a pleasure. Anytime. Yeah, likewise, dude. Anytime, yeah. Talk to you. See you later. Cheers, Frank. Thanks a lot. Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.